on to some minor chords. Now, there are, of course, three minor chords in a key, two, three, and six. Each one has a different, slightly different function and sound. And so I'm going to talk in this one really only about a couple of them. I'm going to talk mostly about six and two, because that's what we're going to, those are the two most common to hear. Now, where we hear, if I was in the key of G, Chord 6 would be considered the relative minor chord because that would be the tonic chord of the relative minor key. If we're in the key of G, G, C, and D would be 1, 4, and 5, the relative minor key would be E minor. E minor is chord 6 in the key of G. And that's a, a, a progression that you want to start getting used to recognizing the same way you're used to hearing this or this. this. Here we go with some progressions now, branching out into our newfound uh, territory here. Let's start with uh, this one, progression number four. endings, a few different feels in that. Let's do that one in one other key. Let's try that in uh, here. Progression 4, I guess it was, yes. Progression 4, the first time we heard that, we heard it in the key of C, and it is a, a progression you hear all over the place. Really, really common. It, of course, is heard in Let It Be, and thousands of other songs that I uh, won't go into right now. But what we had, I first played it in the key of C, we heard 1, minor chord, and what hopefully you heard there was the bass going up from 5 to 6. Hopefully are hearing chords 1 through 6 in whatever key the song happens to be in. And knowing that three of those chords are major, three are minor, and we talked about frequently chord 5 is played as a dominant 7th chord. In the key of G, that would be our D7 chord. What I want to get into now is starting to recognize seventh, the other 7th chords in the key. Now what I just did a minute ago, hopefully you figured out what was going on there. I just played through the chords in the key of G. Major chords on 1, 4, and 5, minor chords on 2, 3, and 6. Then I ran through it again, playing the 7th chord that is in the key, meaning no notes outside of the key signature. So, a couple of rules of thumb here. Any minor chord in the key can be expanded to be a minor 7th chord. And that would mean if I'm on A minor, A minor 7 would need the addition of the note G could be played in the middle, which is kind of a subtle change. When you heard this, you, 
can hear a change there, but if I play, if I just went from G to one of those chords, or the other, could you tell which one was the minor 7 and which was just the minor? Minor 7 came first in that case. All of the minor chords can be minor 7s and still be in the key. I want to wrap up this phase of uh, our ear training series with what I would consider reference songs or progressions that uh, are songs you should know the progression to and you should recognize them when you hear them in other songs. So that's kind of the key here. When, when I hear a song and somebody says, hey, what are the chords of this? I say, oh, you know what, that's the beginning to uh, Comfortably Numb. And so it's got the same kind of thing. And then I might grab the guitar and figure out what key it's in. Oh, you know what, it's not starting on B minor like Comfortably Numb does, it's starting on E. So we've had E minor. So if I heard this, wow, Nantucket sleigh ride. Okay, but that, what I heard there was a minor chord descending a whole step to a major chord, and it reminded me of Comfortably Numb, which is what happens there. So knowing the progressions by number to lots of songs, maybe hundreds, maybe thousands, will open the door to hearing every other song that you want to try to figure out. Or at least, yeah, we'll open the door. It may not always give you all the answers. So what I really want to do here is just go down some of the main things to look for and some songs that are examples of those. First thing is two chord songs. If you hear this... You should be able to recognize that's just two chords back and forth. If you hear them as blues bluesy, you're probably hearing sevenths chords. Seven. So I remind you of a few songs. Three that pop into my head pretty quickly are For What It's Worth, done usually with E7 and A7. So this is a one and a four in a bluesy key, meaning we're using sevenths rather than just playing major chords.